Yo, what's up? It's Neo Rex here. Back again? Yes. Back again, deuces. Well, today, I would like to talk to you about a manga I've been reading for. Reading currently. I read it before, but now I'm finishing up reading, rereading, and reading. And man, I'm enjoying it. I'm talking about Siren. This is a unique, it's a unique manga in its own regard because let me tell you, like the artwork is very Toshia Ki Iwashimoto's artwork. It's very reminiscent of other like Yu Yu Hakusho and also Taite Kubo and Takshi Obata, but it's like its own entity. Like its own, like the suspense horror manga. Well, like it's kind of like a suspense and ghosts, like you know, and and that genre. Well, it starts off playing like the Agha is like a juvenile delinquent, and all of a sudden, one day, all of a sudden, his friend Sakurako Amamiya. All of a sudden, she goes missing, and then Augie wants to go into more about Siren. He wants, he learns more about this Siren Seeker Society. He wants to learn about it and get to it and find out who's behind it so he can save it, her friend, Alma Mia. Yeah, Augie may seem like a little bit out of here, but it gets more interesting. Well, like these two cops, well, they, these two guys pretend to be cops, pretending to be cops they go to a school and all of a sudden they go and he gets to a fight with them he escapes and all of a sudden he gets transformed to this alternate world called Siren he meets these other people and then they, then they wind up getting split up he says no we must stick together but they wind up getting split up and then but before that then he meets his friend Amamiya who has been fighting and, and training alongside the siren seeker so side he she has been fighting all of a sudden this this weird little like bug like thing comes up what I get to later and then on me slice it with a sword Jesus. and then I was like whoa and then all of a sudden she gets unconscious then they go to this building they meet all these other people they get split up and then they meet this guy Hiryu or Saga, which I get to later. They went though these group of people, five other people go up to the siren tower. And then which is obviously and then it's like a game which they get the phone. It's like a game. They have a map and they have to get to this start and this is the end. They get must get the start to end. They must play a game in order to survive. In order to escape the siren world. And Oh my goodness! And when the ta and then this the m mysterious entity came up, which is called the taboo. The taboo comes up. They started massacring everybody. It's like bam! This little entity. It's like a cyborg thing. He would start kicking butt. And I was like, whoa! I was like, yo! This. Oh my goodness! This actually is interesting. But then later on, they defeat him. The Agha. Uh, they escape with him. He found out that this is Japan, this wasteland, this alternate world that Siren takes place is in Japan. And so now he's willing to survive. He's willing, he told Hiryu to take Amiya to the gate so that she is really sick. She's been there for a while and been sick. She's been overdoing it. And then him, after when he returns, Hiryu Osaga gets injured. Amiya comes, but... Uh, but Agiha comes back in the nick of time, destroys it, because he finds out their weeks back, then destroys and go back to the, the um to the real world. They back to the present, the, and then they found out that that world was the future, and so now uh, Agiha and Hiryu Asaga must train in order to get. The order to save the future, and the plot develops so much over there, and it, and I, and it's done well. So they train the youth, they find their powers, 
And then they get transported back to Siren. And oh my goodness, and this this taboo, when they find out that this new taboo is Tetsu, which is Hiryu Osaga's friend, which is from 2, I've been reading it. All the way, well, I read 1, but you really need to read 2, where they do training, and then they get transported to 3. Oh my goodness, 3 was... Great job. Well done. Thumbs up, man. Mm. A saga. It really kick up a, a saga's in the um bad category chick. And also, also, Agatha was a great job with a good plan. Uh, also, the two new characters, Kirisaki and Oboro. They learned Oboro, Mr. Chu Mochi Zuki, which is this actor. He learns his signing powers. And oh my goodness. And Alma Mia stole the spotlight. Alma Mia. Because not only they had to fight this taboo, which is Tatsu, he reused friend that he's been looking for. Which is he reused friend he's been looking for. But also this big giant sandworm. First, like, the people, they get attacked by this giant sandworm, and then this sniper named Tatsu, he had this gun. And it's like, oh, it looked like a regular blaster gun. And he used, like, one of the side powers called Blast. He charges the blast into his gun, and then he shoots it. Bam! Bam! It blows up the building where he got transported. And I was like, whoa. Yo! Oh, now this is getting interesting. It had a little flashback there. He used up his NG. And so they had to be developing a strategy to get past there. And after the fight between the Sandworm and Tatsu, while Alma Mia fighting the Sandworm, because she's more experienced with the psionic sci powers, she's more experienced with the both three powers, which is of Psy, of Psy, which is Blast, Enhance, and what was it? Trance, I think, I believe. But yeah, they learned she's more experienced with the three. And she's able to fight off with Tatsu and, and, and also the Sandworm. After she need, they needed time to recharge, they wait till nighttime. So they really ran off. And with the fight, it was incredible. It was drama, death, incredible. In part four, they do more training. And oh my goodness, and Agiha, he comes up with this un unexpected power called the, later on, which we learned at the male's door, this big giant orb, it just started destroying everything in its path. Bam, bam, bam. It was started exhorting stop house. I was like, oh, yo, this is a good manga. Anyway, anybody? Mm. With Siren 4, I can't wait to read more Siren. But anyway, read Siren. Read it. Anyway, what I would like to say for yep for those who like these suspense and and, and oh, let's say what was it? Like ghost suspense. And not like horror, but action. If you're into action and it's suspense animes like that, with a lot of ghosts and, and little creepy elements, it has little humor. The humor gets a little freaky. It has that freaky, weird, and I mean, Siren Delivers. If you like Yu Yu Hakusho or like Bleach, like, oh my goodness, that Bleach beat. Siren is what's Bleach. Taite Kubo needs to take notes from this manga. It's what everything Bleach wasn't. An en uh, uh, excellent, enjoyable action, suspense, creepy, like, like sort of creepy, but enjoyable series. It was like in incredible. Right now, I love it. Incredible. Love it. One of the best Shonen Jump mangas. Me, first, I wish it was animated. I wish. I wish it was animated. Oh my goodness, with the action, with the um signing powers and everything, the suspense. He draws it well. The author draws it well. Great. 
So anyway, check the series out. And check it out. I, I, I recommend checking it out. But anyway, no, no more spoilers. I don't want to spoil it. But anyway, it was such a great... It has great actions. Anyway, so... This is Neo Rex with my Siren review. With Siren. This is my Siren review. So, check it out. Like... I mean, check it out. Read it. Go to the... Uh, like, anyway... Read it. I, I recommend reading it. But this is Neo Rex here with my siren review. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Neo Rex out.